this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, we'll be learning to make this wave transition effect and we'll be doing that in a very simple way. So, I already have two videos in my project. Let me drag each one of the video to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. In order to do that, I already have a wave transition overlay that I downloaded from Production Create. Production Crate is an amazing website wherein you can download a lot of free content and all you have to do is go to the link in the description and register in this website absolutely for free. Once you do that, go to VFX and Motion Elements and from Transitions, I'll click on DP. I'll uncheck the Pro content and I'll download this free overlay. This is DP Transition Wave. Click on this download button and once you have it inside your system, import it into your project. And before adding it into a sequence, I'll move the topmost video one layer above. Let me zoom in a bit. And now I'll drag the wave transition to the end of the first clip at this point here. And I'll move the second video under this. The next thing is to click on the razor tool and cut the video one. Something like this, just below the overlay, and we'll be adding the effect to this video one. So I'll go to the effects panel. If you don't find the effects panel, click on Window and ensure that effects is checked. So from this panel, I'll type in track mat key, and you can find this track mat key effect in the keying folder of the video effects, and I'll drag this onto video one layer. You can see that it has been added and I'll change the mat from none to video 3. If you start playing the video, you can see that this is how the transition is going to look like. But that is not what we need. We have to invert it. So to do that, I'll click on this reverse button. And now if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the transition is happening. And we got the wave transition that is needed. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to talk with me, you can always reach out to me on Instagram. See you guys next time with another tutorial.